Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Sydney from PhoneDog.com and welcome to this week's episode of The Dog Pound. This week's wallpaper is brought to you by School is Cool 1 LOL. It's a picture of Marilyn Monroe. If you have a suggestion for wallpaper, leave it as a comment below and I may use it in next week's show. So we're gonna get started right with the news. I'm sorry I don't have any comments to feature. Hopefully we can get back to that segment next week. But for now, we'll start with the news. So to start off with, if you are a Windows Phone fan, I have tons of great news for you, specifically if you're on AT&T. We just got official word that the Lumia 900 will be hitting AT&T on April 8th for the low price of $99 on contract. To start off with, the Lumia 900 will be available in cyan, but AT&T told us that it will also be coming in white starting April 22nd for the same price of $99. Now, even though the Lumia 900 isn't even available yet, an unboxing video has already popped up on YouTube. You can watch that video. It's been embedded in this article on phonedog.com, so be sure and check that out to see what comes in the box to get this guy's first impressions of it. Now, maybe you're not a Nokia fan. Maybe you prefer HTC phones. If so, good news for you. We just got word that the Titan II will also be hitting AT&T on April 8th, the same date as the Nokia Lumia 900, but this will carry the price tag of $199 on contract. Now the standout feature of the Titan 2 is of course its 16 megapixel camera, uh, but it also ships with Windows Phone 7.5 and a giant 4.7 inch display. So there you go, two awesome Windows Phone devices. If you're on AT&T, April 8th is the date for you. So maybe you're not a Windows Phone fan, maybe you prefer Apple products, iOS. If so, then you should definitely check out Aaron's review of the new iPad. It's a two-part review. He goes into detail about everything from hardware, software, performance, camera. So definitely check out that review. Now, if you're thinking about buying the new iPad, then you'll want to listen to this story. We're hearing reports the new iPad gets a lot warmer than the iPad 2. Uh, running at about 92.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Now we're hearing mixed reports. Some users are saying that it is a problem. Some users are saying that it's not a problem. So it's something to consider. Now Apple has responded to these reports, blaming it on the Retina display, the A5X chip, and the increased battery performance. So if you have a new iPad, let us know. Is this a problem? Is it a lot warmer than the iPad 2? Or is it not really a problem? Let me know in the comments below. Here's some new rumors about the iPhone 5 slash 6 slash whatever they call it. We got a report that said it would have a 4.6 inch display. However, shortly thereafter, we got another report saying that it would have the same size display as the current model of the iPhone, that is a 3.5 inch display. To support the rumors that the new iPhone could have LTE support, some strings of code have been found in iOS 5.1 that seem to refer to 4G calling and FaceTime. Now on to some Android news. We recently heard a report that the Sprint version of the Samsung Galaxy Nexus could be hitting on April 15th, and that the Sprint version of the HTC One X could be hitting sometime in June. Now to go along with this report, we got an invitation from both Sprint and HTC inviting us to come see their latest collaboration at an event on April 4th. Are we gonna see the HTC One X there? That's the rumor, but we're not really sure. Now we do know that the HTC One X will be coming to AT&T. In fact, some testers already got their units and have posted a few first impressions of battery life, how the hardware feels. They've also posted some quadrant benchmark tests and basically the HTC One X blew the competition out of the water. It wasn't even a contest. Now these testers say that the HTC One X could be coming to AT&T sometime in mid-May. So maybe that June release date that we heard for the Sprint version of the One X isn't too far off. We'll keep you guys updated on this story. As always, we have some new rumors about the Samsung Galaxy S3. The Samsung Greater China President Kim Young Ha has said that the release date has reportedly been moved up to April. That's all we have for now. Again, as with everything else, we will keep you guys updated. Now, if you already have an Android device and you have been waiting your ice cream sandwich update, check out this article. AT&T has listed 10 new devices that will be upgraded to Android 4.0 in the coming months. This list includes devices like the Motorola Atrix and Atrix 2, the Pantech Burst, the Samsung Galaxy S2, as well as a Skyrocket model of that device, and the LG Nitro. Check out this article for the complete list. Samsung has also let us know that the Galaxy Note will be receiving its version of Ice Cream Sandwich sometime in the second quarter of this year. 
This update will actually be part of a premium suite that will also include other apps and features that are specially made for the Galaxy Note's S Pen. And lastly guys, don't forget to vote for your favorite smartphone in PhoneDog's official smartphone rankings. You can submit one vote per week. The votes will be tabulated and posted on Monday. You can see this week's complete list as well as the top five smartphones according to the experts. Be sure and check that out. So that's the show. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have a suggestion for wallpaper, leave it as the comments below and I may use it in next week's show. Keep on leaving your funny, random and weird comments. One of them could be featured, I promise, even though we didn't have any featured comments next this week, but we'll have them next week. In the meantime, keep on phonedog.com for more news updates and reviews. I'm Sydney and I'll see you guys later. Bye.